it's Tiffany Renee once again. Today, I just, you know, I'm gonna do a little video and kind of talk to you guys. And I'm gonna talk about why I chose a road glide. Sweet, simple, and to the point. So, before I get into that, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, for coming back, you know, checking me out for each video that I post. To so all my new subscribers, I wanna thank you guys for joining Tip Squad. It's definitely, um, a journey that I've been on and an exciting one so I'm gonna keep bringing the content for you guys um, bike content like I said I am dropping a video in December when I go on my cruise I'm excited for that y'all can't wait to take a vacation with my family um, those know that I do like um, shooting my guns I want to do some range videos you know just different content and just mainly things that I enjoy doing so I just want you guys to stay tuned keep coming back and checking me out and I'm gonna keep bringing the content to you guys so, first off, why, how I even got into the bagger world, thanks to my husband, he's been trying to get me for the longest to get on a, uh, a bagger, to cross over to the, um, <clears throat> to the Harleys from the street bike. So if you've seen my previous videos, interviews with other um, channels, you will know that because of my husband, then I eventually gave in to get a bike. Now, when it came to choosing a specific bike, particularly the road glide on um, one point I seen that's the bike of choice I seen a lot of women riding were the road glides so that sparked my interest to more so look into getting a road glide versus getting a street glide or anything else yes um I did look up the um the challenger for the Indians and you know other brands of that nature but the road glide is the bike of choice that I seen more women riding so I was like okay that was the starting point yeah, um, you know, it, it's all in preference and, you know, you do your research. But that kind of got me looking more into that direction to, to go for that bike. Second, um, and these points are in no particular order or anything. I'm just kind of, you know, running down some things that kind of geared me towards getting a road glide. Second, I realized that um, when I was looking on the street glide, you know, everything is all together. And versus on the road glide, you have the fixed fairing. So only the handlebars turn not everything else so that was another thing I thought about I was like well I think I'd rather have everything to kind of stay stationary and just be able to turn my handlebars versus the whole entire fairing so that was another thing that geared me more towards the road glide versus going with a street glide or and and I never really looked into getting a road king at all so it was more so I compared the street glide and a road glide when I'm talking about looking into the two different bikes so the fixed fairing was one, um, which I have sat on to a street glide and I did realize that everything was a lot closer to me. This is after, I, of course, I had the road glide, but it, it did feel closer, but at the same time, I felt like the fairing was still kind of high to me. So I was like, mm, I'm glad I did choose my road glide, so. But it's still, when it comes to the weight of the bike, there's still no difference. The bike is still heavy. It doesn't change that at all. And um, just practicing the bike still is gonna make you be able to maneuver it and ride it better. Um, another thing is, you know, I'm always up for a challenge, always, you know, pushing myself to do things. And yes, the weight of these bikes are really heavy, but who said that I was too small, which I get that a lot, to ride this bike? I should have got a smaller bike. Well, I, I disagree with that because um, as long as I practice, as long as I ride the bike, as long as I practice those techniques, I, I'm still able to still ride the bike. You see a ton of women um, riding these bikes. So the challenge, I was up for it, and I think I do pretty good with, with doing that. Not saying I'm perfect at all, but um, I do good enough to ride the bike. And like I said, the more I ride it, the better I get with it. The, the, um, the more natural I feel like riding the bike, period. So. The weight of the bike is not, no, it didn't deter me from getting the bike at all. So if any woman or lady or what, however, you feel like this bike is too heavy for you to ride, it's still adjustments that you can make to kind of make it fit you. You can customize it or you can just pretty much get on the bike and practice it and you'll be able to learn how to maneuver the weight, which you really don't feel the weight of the bike until it's sitting still or at slower pace. So that's when you feel the bulk of the bike anyway. Um, another thing is the the look of the bike, just the sheer look of it. As you can see, he's just beautiful. So that led me to go with more so Harley because of the color itself. Um, 
my husband showed me the color and I was like if I don't get that color there's really no other color I really want so because of the color just because of the looks of it is why I mainly went with this bike in particular I mean of course it's not completely stock I've done customizations to it but um, even at a stock form I still love the way it looks now I've, a couple things that you guys can go back and check out my um, video when I talked about the upgrades that I did do to my bike and you'll see that and since then I've done a couple more things but you can definitely check those videos out where I've done my own customizations to my bike and his name is EJ for those that are new to the channel also I want to talk about um, another reason I chose Harley is because I know I can find those dealerships like within a hundred miles or so not even that far from each other so if I'm out and about on the highway or we're out like um, doing a road trip and I need something I know that there are several dealerships that are close by that I can reach out to and get to if I have to make a stop for something when I'm out on road trips so that is another reason why I did go with Harley and another thing is Harley has a ton of apparel that you can wear hats shirts um, the jackets the hoodies just several things and um, y'all know me like I'm always picking up a hat I'm always picking up a t-shirt um, I just like the way those things look and um, it's just a whole community that it's a conversation starter and um, that was a those are other reasons why I chose to go with Harley and nothing against Indian or victories or any other brand but that's just the reason why I chose Harley because I'm um, I still like those Indians too. <laughs> I still like those bikes as well. And then, you know, I still ride with people that ride with those, ride on those bikes. And um, those are some nice looking bikes as well. Uh, I'm just speaking on the reasons why I chose what I chose. Now to answer some questions that I do get a lot. And it's like, um, do I regret buying this bike? Not at all, no regrets at all. Do I absolutely love the bike? Yes, I do love this bike. I wouldn't change a thing. I, would, I wouldn't go out to seek another bike. At this moment, I don't. Um, like I said, I, I enjoy the challenge that I get riding the bike, but it's also fun because um, it's something I get to do alongside of my husband. It's something I get to do alongside of my friends that I meet. I get to meet new people. I get to ride with people that I've been riding for a while because a lot of people that I was riding with, um, with street bikes, all of them, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ladybug. Yeah, look. <laughs> Things that happen out in nature. So, um, yeah, I get to ride with some of my same friends that I used to ride the street bikes with because they all, most of them, have gotten um, baggers, not necessarily Harleys, but they're all on the baggers as well. So, it's definitely something I enjoy doing. My girls at first, they were upset, my oldest. She was upset when I got rid of my street bike. She cried her eyes out because she loved the lights and everything that I had on it. But I had to explain to her, like, what this new bike I was getting, the radio, and now she loves it. So <laughs> it was adjustment for, for not just me, but for my baby. She was upset about it. But now that she sees the music, she loves the color of the bike, and she just liked to come along the ride with, um, with us as well. Um, my youngest one, she's only two. She hasn't rode rode it much yet but she loves it any chance that she can come out just to look at it and climb on it while it's sitting still so um, definitely something that I definitely enjoy and I hope you guys enjoy yours and those that are thinking about getting your bike it does not matter which bike you get just as long as you enjoy it and you practice it you definitely can ride your bike all right guys I'm back but yeah like I was saying look, so I definitely certainly hope my girls will still love bikes when they get older of course they tell me that now and they're like yeah I want to ride when I get older mommy and I want to ride along with you and daddy and that's something I really look forward to doing as they get older and as all we get older I'm definitely look forward to getting out riding as a family um, so if there's any kind of questions you guys have for me please Drop them down in the comments and let me know. You know you know, I do my best with trying to answer all questions that I'm able to answer. Um, if anybody's um, looking to, to ask about any women, you know, I get a lot of things about women asking me like what bike should they choose and I get questions uh, 
well, not even just questions. I get a lot of husbands, you know, they're saying like, oh, I'm trying to get my wife to get her to ride. Like, you definitely can do it. Um, get out there on those bikes. Don't let size fool you. Because as you can see, I'm not that tall. Five, two and a half on a good day. And I don't regret any of that because I'm still able to jump on this bike and ride it. Another thing about these bikes that I do enjoy, that you can customize it to the way that you like. Whatever you want, there's so many different things that you can change out and to make this bike your own. It doesn't always have to be what somebody else like. It could be what you like. And you do it to what fits you and you do it to whatever that you like. Don't necessarily have to be anything to anybody else. Just because somebody else doesn't like it, that doesn't mean that you can't have it. So make sure you do it to fit you. And there's no such thing as an ugly bike because if you like it hey that's all that matters you're paying for it because it's not cheap this is not a cheap hobby as well so for all those who's looking into it this is definitely not a cheap hobby so make sure you love it and you make it fit you if i have said nothing else to you guys you haven't listened to me buy the bike that you want buy the bike that you like and you will be completely satisfied with yourself. If you get it and you ride it and you figure out it's not for you, you can't ride it, then you have to trade it in, sell it, however you want to do it. But buy the bike that you want because you're not going to be satisfied with yourself unless you buy what you want and you feel like you can handle and you can make your adjustments in there. As I can say, like like I said before, I've done customizations to my to my bike here. I'm definitely not done yet. I'm, there's other things that I want to do to it that I'm going to do to it. But um, I'm definitely enjoying things that I have done to it thus far. And um, whether it's a look or a, a functioning um, customization, whatever it is, I'm definitely enjoying everything that I've done to my bike to make it something that I enjoy doing. All right, y'all. So in closing, I just want to say thank you guys for, you know, being along this journey with me. This is definitely, I'm coming up on a year been on YouTube and it's definitely definitely experience that I didn't expect totally at all um, so thank you guys for tuning in each and every video I do have big plans coming up for next year for riding season because it is winding down a little bit it's getting here almost Christmas time already y'all like it's almost December so I'm um, not saying I don't plan on riding in the winter but who knows where that might lead me but who knew my channel will be here this far so I'm not going to say what I won't do. I'll just say I don't have any plans to. But um, thank you guys for sticking it out with me. Um, I'm still learning a lot. And I'm still trying to grow. And I thank you guys for growing with me. We're going to grow together. Uh, just want you guys to know that um, I definitely appreciate you. So make sure you guys continue to come here and check us out. You know me. If you see me in person, I'm the same way as I am on camera that I am when you see me in person. So there's nothing different about me. I just always gonna be myself. Like I'm still that shy person that's still coming out of my shell. <laughs> that some of you guys still don't think that that was me, but that's totally me. But I'm enjoy doing it, and I thank you guys for you know just being friendly each and every time that I come in contact or meet you in person. So I appreciate you guys. So there's nothing else to say, but like I always say, Tip Squad, I love you guys.